Hey guys, it's Babs here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm excited to have you join me today. In this tutorial, I want to show you how you can convert your Webflow website to WordPress website. On my channel, I have done a tutorial before on how to convert WordPress website to Webflow website. But in this tutorial, it's the other way around. I want to show you how you can convert your Webflow back to WordPress. In case you want to learn how you can convert your WordPress website to Webflow, websites then i will leave that video in the video description you can check that out and maybe on the screen right now if i remember so as you can see right now on the screen is a default uh, template on webflow i just installed this and i've published this website and i have it here live on uh, the staging server so this is it super simple basic website nothing complex no hassle here and there it has other pages here and that's fine so let me show you exactly how to clone this to WordPress. So right now in this tutorial, I will show you two super simple, easy methods for you to clone this to WordPress, WordPress and the mentor, WordPress Bricks Builder. And the first method will be for us to use this tool called Clone WebX. Super amazing uh, tool here. This will help you clone any website to your preferred paint builder. You can see Webflow is included, Elementor is included, and uh, Bricks Builder is included. So you can come down here and use this tool. This tool is free for you to use. You can have a project of just one website with 10 exports per month. So if you want to use more of this, then you have to go with your paid plan. So you can come down here. You can check the video description for you to see uh, my link to Clone WebX and also a coupon code just in case you want to invest in this tool. Uh, so that's it. So if you come down here, you can buy now, check out, create an account. But I would go to my hub and let's see what we can do with this. So I will just start a new project. I'll call this uh, Webflow, right? So I'll put this domain name here. And then I'll create this project. It will bring you to this page here where you will have a step-by-step -step guide on how to continue. And the next thing is for you to download your Chrome extension. If you have, I think that's fine. So I have already done that. So I have this Chrome extension here. So I'll come back to this page. Uh, so this is the page here that I want to clone. And then I'll just launch this Chrome extension. And I'll find this project, which is Webflow. And then I'll hard this page that's it so you can see we have our page on this software isn't this amazing so you can see this is the header here and this is our hero section i can see all the sections here you can highlight all of them you can now think of importing this into your wordpress website so if you come down to this uh dialog box here so you can see here that if you come to page builder you can work with elementor to webflow to bricks uh, but Webflow is out of it because we are bringing this website from Webflow, but it's other two big builders are coming. Uh, so what we can do with this right now is to take this to Bricks or to Elementor. Elementor, if you must do Elementor, you have to install the uh, plugin here. But if you want to do Bricks Builder, you don't need to install any plugin uh, on your WordPress website. So before we continue this, what we must do right now is to come to this selector uh, space here and select which part of the website we want to bring to WordPress. Uh, so if you select this right now, if you click on this, you can see you will have this box here and then you have two options here. Either you want to export what you've correctly selected or you just want to go with the parent selector, which is like you trying to copy the entire page. Uh, so if you toggle this i button now you see that what you select is gone so that's exactly what would be cloned to the wordpress website if you go with this element but toggle this back on and then let's come to the parent as uh, selector let's toggle this so you can see everything on the page is gone apart from this really uh so not necessarily everything so you have this kind of complications here depending on how the pages have been designed uh, so now let's toggle this back on. So now let's just work with the parent selector. So what that means is that we will not be cloning the block and also the header will have to clone that separately and that's fine. 
Uh, so let's see how we can bring this in here. So we need to download this. I have a WordPress website here. Uh, let's come to the dashboard and then let's come to plugins. Let's come to install plugins. So you can see I have Elementor installed, which is fine. And I have this soft light plugin here installed, which is prerequisite for what we want to do. So I can come to pages. I can come to add a new page. Or I can just make this a test page. And then I can edit this with Elementor. All right, so we can come back here. In case you don't have the plugin, once you uh, come here, once you hit this button here, it will download the plugin into your browser so you can upload uh, that plugin to WordPress and install it. It's as simple as that. And once you do that, you can just come down here and come to the export button. This has been copied to clipboard. That's fine. So let's come back to our WordPress website. So I'll just right click this here and I'll paste from other site and then I'll do Control V. Instantly, this design has been brought into our uh, Elementor page. And this is beautiful. Isn't this amazing? So what you can do next is also bring in the header and bring in the footer, bring in the blog page too as well. So let's come back. Uh, let's come back here. Let's try to work with the header. Let's see what we have. So if I click this, navigation here is selected. And then let's export this. This has been copied to as well. So let's come back here and then let's try to bring that here. Paste from other sites and let's do Control V. So I have my header here too. You can see, isn't this beautiful? Uh, so what you can do to take away the header and the footer from the page is for you to just make this elemental canvas. But this is not the ideal way to clone a website. Ideally, if you're using Elementor Pro, you should just go to the uh, theme builder and then create a template for the header and the footer and also for your archive page. That's exactly how this should work. I believe that, but that's not a tutorial for today. I just want to show you how to clone this. So you can just come to uh, your, page, your page layout and then come to Elementor Canvas. So this will refresh this page and then reload this page in just an elemental canvas. That's it. So we can see here that uh, header footer is gone and that's cool. So let's open this up. So we have our website here. Isn't this beautiful inside of our elemental? So you can go ahead and publish this page and have your paid life. That's super simple and easy, right? So I'm going to do this for every of the page you have on the website and every of the elements. So like right now, if I were to still continue this, I will continue with the blog and also the footer. And that's it. Uh, this is super simple and easy, right? Clone WebEx makes this that easy to do. So without wasting so much time, let's go to the second one. The second method would be for us to use Figma. So if you're following me for a while, you know I've been doing a lot of tutorials around Figma, especially with cloning websites. Uh, it's a fantastic place for you to design and line and build your website. Uh, so you can come down here and get started for free, create a free account. I have an account here and I have a project opened up here. So right now for us to use Figma, we will need the help of a plugin as well to clone this page into Figma and then for Figma here, another plugin to bring it to Elementor website. And that's super simple and easy to do. So we've gone up here and come to our plugins. Let's come to manage plugins. I'm going to search for your plugin called HTML to design. And this is the first plugin here. You can run this plugin. So here's the plugin here. This plugin is a freemium plugin. It has a free version and also a paid version. I think the free version gives you access to maybe use it maybe 15 times in a month. I can't really remember, but I have the pro version of this plugin. Uh, if you come down here, you would see that you can import uh, with their browser, which is fine. You may want to have their Chrome extension, which I do as well. So you can come to this page as well and use their Chrome extension to do the same thing we did with Chrome WebEx and then import it into Figma. But I just want to use the live URL since that's possible. So let's copy this and let's come back to Figma here. So let's just paste uh, that URL here. That's the reason we want to do. But before we import this, there's some options we have here. Let's click this edit button. So I can choose uh, different viewpoints that I want to use. So this is the desktop version. This is the laptop version, tablet, tablet, phone version. 
So you can toggle all of them on. If you're on the pro plan, you can customize the viewpoint yourself to whatever numbers uh, that you want to use. That's very, very useful if you're a UI a uh, UX designer, you know how important this is because you can design your website to suit your style and not necessarily the default breakpoint or viewpoint that we have around. Another thing you can still do here are options for auto layout. Auto layout is very, very important if you want to uh, make your website responsive. And also for hyperlinks, you can keep all the links on the page if you want to, but I, I just want to right now. So let's close this and I think that's it. So I'll just be working with the desktop version, but in your case, you may want to export more uh, version, maybe the mobile version, but that's fine. Uh, so I will just hit the import button and then we can see we have this importing into Figma. So that's it. Uh, the import is done. That's everything we want to do. Let's close this. So right now you can see we have a page here. Isn't this amazing? I can just zoom in uh, for me to see more of this design. So you can see here, we have our menu here. You can change things, you can edit, you can, there's nothing you can do here on Figma. And that's very, very, very cool. Uh, so right now, uh, let's go to the next step, which is to import this design right now into WordPress. Uh, but before then, I think I want to uh, rename this. I just want to call this, oh, so that's that. All right, that's good. So the next plugin we're going to use to bring this uh, to Elementor would be UI Kemi. So you may want to search that plugin here. UI Kemi. So I'll run this. There are two of them there. One will help you take your WordPress. One will help you take this to Elementor and the other one will take it to Bricks. Just like uh, Gloom WebEx. Uh, so uh, that's it. Uh, let's start. You just have to start here. You can just, it, it says here, get your keys. So you can click this here to create a free account for you to get keys to use this. Convert Figma designs to editable and the mentor website. So you can see it. You can go down, go to their pricing and then they have a free pricing too as well. Uh, and then you can check out free or you can also use their paid version is a fantastic tool as usual i have uh, a paid plan here i think my internet connection is very very crappy it's taking time for this to load but i think i can just scroll down okay this is your pricing plan here so you can use this is zero free forever too as well 10 export per month one user and then once you are on the pro version, you can use it for either Elementor or Bricks. I use the same template for both. So you can see the page is trying to load right now. I don't know what's wrong with my internet connection. But this is crazy, but you can see here. And the last uh, plot here is the all access. So you can see you can use it with all your paid builders. Uh, that's costing about $49 per month. But that's it. That's really up to you to choose whatever works for you. So I would just want to sign in and then get my license key. So I'm signing right now into my dashboard here. So I can just copy my license key and then come back here and then paste that here. And then activate. So that's it. So right now you can see Elementor is checked here and this own and my own is selected here. And then the next thing is for us to just convert this to Elementor. Yeah, it will tell you all the things you need to hear. Make sure auto layout, which we ticked earlier for responsiveness. I have new frames that is better for performance and all these other things here. Just, I have read the above things. Uh, you can also say, you can also say, do not show me this again. I'm not a pro now, whatever it is. And then convert this to Elementor. And immediately you have a JSON file here. You can download this. And this has been downloaded into my browser. That's the trying everything we need. So let's go back to our website here. Uh, so right now, I might just want to delete uh, everything here. Uh, so right now, I have this black here so I can come to my template. I can just come to upload template and then I will drag my JSON file here. Yes, continue, enable and import. All right, so the good thing is this is done here. So I have this uh, template here, so I can just set this. That's it, we have our design here. However, this is not looking perfect to me. Let's uh, open this up. 
So as you can see here, he wasn't able to replicate this, but sometimes that this thing is still loading, it might take some time for it to fully load. And you can see some images here are missing, uh, images here too are missing. So I really don't know, maybe this is my internet connection, but sometimes when you have issues like this, you can redo it. If you redo it, it might come up. Uh, sometimes it's just taking time for these elements to load uh, regardless. Uh, so that's it. That's the reason why I'm even showing you two method because there are times that for the kind of design you're trying to import, one method may work perfect than the other one. So you might want to experiment with the both of them to see which one will give you the best results. So right now, if I want to judge based on the initial result I'm seeing right now, I will tell you Clone WebEx has done a pretty much decent job trying to bring this into a WordPress and Elementor. Uh, but it is literally up to you to see, but if we redo this process, we might get a good result and the limit might just still pop up eventually. So I never can tell. I have seen all these things happen over time, but that's literally up to you. Go experiment with the two method guys and let me know which one has worked for your design in the comment section. I'll be looking out to hear from you. Thank you so much for your time. I have all the links to all of these things in the video description. You can check them out. Uh, that's my time. I'll see you in another tutorial. Good experiment with this and I'm looking forward to your feedback. Bye for now.